In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss conditional probability. And this is one of those classic boy-girl problems. And I'm going to do two different problems in this video. They're slightly different, but very similar. I'd encourage you to watch them both. A couple has two children. They can have a boy and a girl, a boy and a boy, a girl and a boy, or a girl and a girl. And the question is, what is the probability that both children are boys, knowing that at least one of the children is a boy? The first thing we do is we look at the total sample set and look for at least one of the children is a boy. So in the sample set, there's a boy and a girl, a boy and a boy, and a girl and a boy, and we eliminate girl, girl, the two girls from the sample set, the possibility. From the sample set, now we pick any that are both boys, and that's the middle one right here. And we have one of those. So we can say one out of three. Let me write this out formally for you. And this P of A, B, like that, it means what's the probability that both children are boys knowing that at least one child is a boy? This is equal to the probability of the intersection of A and B and the probability of B, which is equal to the number in the intersection divided by the number in B. You'll see this type of notation in your textbook and probably your professor uses it too. The denominator is just the number in the subset, which is B. In this case, that's three. And the numerator is just the number in the intersection. In this case, that is 1. To answer the question, what is the probability that both children are boys, knowing that at least one child is a boy, is 1 out of 3? Let me change the problem slightly. The new problem, what is the probability that both children are boys, knowing that the older child is a boy? In this case, my subset is going to be all the cases where the older child is a boy. And there's two of those. And in this case, there is a set of boys in this subset. We'll pull that out like that. This is equal to 1 half. Formally, we write it like this, just as before. The denominator is the number of b's, or the subset of b which is 2, and the numerator is just the number of the intersection, which is 1 in this case. This is just one example of conditional probability, and I'm putting several of these videos on my YouTube channel, and you can find links to those videos below. So share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. Links and things below. Subscribe. It helps others find the videos.